Oi, oi, the Pal Channel people. So, going off the subject of Fred West for a little bit, um, coming out, getting some air, doing some filming for all my channels actually, but I thought I'd do a nice little out and about video of the Forest of Dean where we are right now. Have a look, people, it is beautiful. I'm closer to probably Monmouth here, where we are. Like I said, I'm just doing some filming for Justin's World. So by all means, look out for those videos on there. But I thought, we haven't done an out and about video for a little while, you know what I mean? I haven't been out, I haven't been doing much, so I thought, let's get out and let's just have a little wander and a little natter and just see what's been going on. Do you know what I'm saying? But I hope you're all well, I hope you're all coping with um, life and the way things have been going and you know the news and this that the other boy it's hectic isn't it eh it's hectic it never stops does it for a minute yeah just when you get one rid of one crisis another one pops up again so but yeah i'm glad to be out and about today i'm um i'm going to be continuing um my journey um with obviously searching for mary that isn't going to stop people I am not going to stop, um, you know, searching for Mary. I just can't do it and put it on the channel 24-7 because um, it switches people off. People want to watch so much of it and then I think they get a little bit sort of like, mm, they've had enough. God, look at this down here. Woods, beautiful, isn't it, peeps? So, yeah, we'll, so there'll be a mixture of videos come in. Uh, it won't just all be... Fred West based, it will be um, sort of out and about different locations as well. Walking, talking, vibing, getting on. Yeah, like I say, we will go back to um, um, the subject. It's just like I say, I, I can only do so much of it and there's only so much I can actually cover really. There's only so many times um, I can kind of drive up to the mill and do bits and pieces now. I mean, I've covered that for a long time now and um, until we can really get somebody up there digging or doing something, there's not really a lot more I can do. Now, a lot of people have said myself, to me, just go up there and start digging yourself, just. Mm, not really. I don't want to be, I don't want to be digging. Digging them. At the end of the day, I know there's bodies there and it's just like, yeah, I don't really want to be doing that, to be fair. It's all well, but, you know, if you feel like that, you go and dig them up then, you know what I mean? If people feel that way, you know what, you know the location as well as I do. So you go and, you go and get a, a shovel and, you know, get up there and have a look. People shouldn't be saying to me to do it all the time. I mean, I've covered the story. Um, but, I, yeah, I, I just think, you know, for those, for those people out there who are, you know saying just dig them up it's not it's not possible really in it you know what i mean it's not really you need you need a proper forensic team to go in there and start digging that's what you need you need that you need um it all to be properly um sort of forensically sort of do you know what i mean it's there's evidence at the end of the day and it could it could also hold more clues and if you get like a bumbling idiot like me going in there with a fucking shovel and you know what I mean, you start disturbing stuff, you might might be sort of messing things up, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say, people. And I'm not I'm not I'm a, I'm not really into sort of digging up dead bodies and shit like that, you know. It's like it's one thing trying to bring um uh the attention to the place so we can get like the police to do it properly, but to actually go there and do it yourself. Yeah, it's just silly. It's a, and what happens if you do find something? It's a crime scene then, isn't it? Yeah. And then can you get in trouble because you've gone there digging on their land? You know, can it potentially get in trouble? Because then I could, you know, I could be in trouble myself with the law then. And um, that's that's no good, is it? I'm not I'm not a lawbreaker, people. I'm not I'm not like that, you know. I'm not I'm not a lawbreaker. This is beautiful, people. This is today. So yeah, I don't. I don't. I mean, I've. I've got. If anyone's got any more ideas, then by all means, I'm happy to go up there and cover stories. I'm happy to go up there and, you know what I mean, 
try and you know bring some attention to it but i need a bit of help now i can't really do it by myself little ob ain't big enough i need i need more help with it really i need more help with it i mean at the end of the day if if sir trevor mcdonald can't get them to um to um start digging then who is gonna who is gonna i mean i wish somebody would just go up there and start digging and you know they're quite likely to find something and if they did that you know it, you know it, it could be it could start it all off then couldn't it really i wish i had the courage to, for that to be me but i just i wouldn't know where to start i would actually i would know where to start a few areas around the back of the building where I reckon he may have sort of buried them. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people said that he buried them indoors, which is possible. He could have done a bit of a combination of both, really, couldn't he? he? Could have buried them indoors and outdoors as well. We don't really know. Don't really know with Fred. He was a bit of a weirdo, wasn't he? Do you know what I mean? It's just what I needed today, peeps. Look at it. Just look at it. You can't get better than that, can you, kid, eh? Do you know what I mean? You can't. Just check it out. But any ideas of any videos, you know, concerning sort of Fred West, sort of Mary, you know, all of that sort of subject, then obviously, you know, let me know if there's anything that you want to see. Anything you want me to film around Gloucester, anywhere you think I should be going. Maybe I haven't gone somewhere already, and you might think, ah, he'd go there. And don't say Glasgow, because I'm not going to go to Glasgow. I know that Fred's had history, um, obviously that end. But, the, you know, where, where Fred was now, it's, it's all been developed on, so there's just, just nothing there. It's like the Green Lantern Cafe, it's been developed on. It's, you know, you're not going to find anything. All that area's been dug up already been dug up and it's been built on so it's <laughs> oh squirrel not in our lifetime we ain't gonna see nothing about it maybe when they take the building down eventually in a few hundred years time then maybe they might find something then but until then they certainly ain't finding anything now but I, I would um, welcome I would welcome any help from people on uh, what to do next. I'm a bit sort of stuck. I don't really know um, I don't really know what to do next. Yeah, I don't really know what stories to cover I don't really know What else I can do? Um, that's not being sort of told so yeah, I am really really interested if people want to see certain things then I'm happy to go. I think one one place um, I haven't been there was there was a there was a place in Cheltenham where um, uh, where he lived Stoke Orchard um, so I might go there and have a look because apparently he rented a caravan so that's probably apart from Glasgow it's probably the only place I haven't really been where he's sort of connected to I've tried to go everywhere else I've tried to go obviously to his home directly um, you know and we've we've covered that quite a bit I've done the Barclay, I've done the Sharpness walk all along there, all the different areas where he could have brought Mary in from, the Bristol Road walk. Um, yeah, I've, I've covered it quite extensively. I really, really, really have. So new ideas, people, new ideas. I mean, obviously um, I could put the videos together a little bit better now. So, you know, the quality of the channel should should sort of improve quite quite significantly now so yeah my ears are open people let me know what you want to see and we'll film it we'll film it if you want to see more fred west stuff you want me to go to the locations or go anywhere i'll do it you want me to go somewhere else and film something completely different i'll go and do that Don't mind, in and around Gloucester, Forest of Dean, Cheltenham area, uh, Bishop's Cleeve, Stoke, all of that, you know, I could probably get to most of those areas quite easily. Oh, hair on the floor there, look at that. What's that from? 
badger. Looks like a badger's there or something. Oh, look at this, peeps. It's just beautiful. Just paths upon paths. Again, Fred West would have known all this area as well, so apparently there are some bodies somewhere in, I don't know where, but somewhere within the Forest of Dean. There's meant to be a couple of bodies of people. There's a bloke he's killed. He killed somebody, apparently. Apparently. And uh, yeah, he buried them in, in, in the Forest of Dean somewhere. And I think there was, there was meant to be, there was a bloke, I think he said, he had a fight, an argument with or somebody. He had an argument with somebody was the story. And uh, he buried him out here. Um, not here, this place here, but somewhere within the forest. I don't know where. The forest is a big place. As, as you can see, just from this little path I've, I've walked here. It's a very, very big place. But yeah, you could, you could get lost. And you could certainly hide a body or two around here. Could you not? I mean, just look at it. Who would know and who would find it, really? Yeah? Who would really know? You'd have to proper be looking for it, wouldn't you? But I think, I think he said that they'll never find it. They'll never find the bodies. He was boasting about it, wasn't he? I think that was another one of the stories he told Stephen, wasn't it? When he was telling them about the farm and explaining about the farm etc and you know you know you know they need to check that farm go for a run out didn't they so yeah i was saying fred west basically he, uh he would have definitely uh known of these areas here it would have been, uh, it would have been quite known to him. Do you know what I mean? Definitely is hidden bodies around this area, let me tell you. There's been many, many stories of Fred West. But, do people actually think that the, the areas where he, he's been caught, i.e. Cromwell Street and Midland Road, do they think that that's the only areas that he would have hidden bodies in? Bullshit. No way, mate. No way on your Nelly. 100%, you know, he's hidden them elsewhere. I think that, you know what I mean? Hide them at the house is probably just like a last resort. I don't know, it's weird, it's just weird. Or maybe he wanted the bodies to be close to him, I don't know. You've got to get in the mind of a serial killer, haven't you, really? and their understanding of why they do things, which is really, really difficult when you're not a serial killer or anyone of that frame of mind. So, so I think, I think there's bodies personally everywhere. I think there's probably between 20 and 40 bodies, if not more at the mill. And I don't think that's the only, only area where there's bodies as well. I think there's many, many, many others, you know. Not only did, you know, Fred murder, but also John, his brother, was a murderer. And so was Rose. And God knows who else that they were connected to as well, because he's just thinking it's just them and no one else is connected. How do you know? How do you know that no one else is connected out there? Right? You don't know. How do you think he got away with it for as long as what he did? Because he's connected with people. So surely... People must have known something, yeah? They must have known something. Oh, Fred, eh? But like you say, they reckon John was the one. They reckon he was the real evil one. I mean, they were all fucking evil, let's be honest. Evil as evil can be, but... They reckon John... John was pretty, pretty bad. He was pretty bad. Like I say, we all forget about John. John, uh, you know, committed suicide and everyone's forgot about him, but... Killed himself, didn't he, just before the trial with Anne-Marie for raping her. Yeah. 
just couldn't take it, could he? Couldn't take what he'd done. So yeah, I just killed myself now. It's the easy option. What a sicko. You know what I mean? Very, very sad individual. They're all really, really sad, aren't they? Let's be honest. But the shit that went on, like I say, in Cromwell Street, we fucking turn your stomach, mate. All people out there hear about is just uh, the mainstream bits and pieces, but the devil's in the detail, yeah? And I don't think people would really want to get into the detail of actually what went on with this particular couple. Really, really scary stuff. I ain't gonna stop, I'm gonna continue searching for Mary. I will continue making content. Like I say, let me know what you wanna see now, peeps. It'd be amazing if we could do something with, um, with Mary Bastogne and, you know, find her. It would be just my dream to be able to contribute, to, to be able to find in her and putting her to rest. It would be a pretty amazing thing. And to find, obviously, others, because it would put a lot of, um, uh, a lot of people at ease, wouldn't it, if they could find uh, their relatives who, who have been murdered. Although it would be a pretty horrific thing to uh, sort of come up in your life, if you like, really. It'd be quite a difficult thing to handle, but you'd want to know if it was you, wouldn't you? I would. I'd want to know. I'd be thankful that someone was out there trying to find answers. And, um, you know, put them to rest. God bless their souls. That's what needs doing. But yeah, if anyone wants to help, if anyone wants to get involved, and uh, you know where the farm is, I've documented it. I've put enough videos out there. Yeah, if anyone, like I say, has got any ideas, now is the time to shine. Now is the time. But I think Stoke Orchard might be a good idea, actually. I'm thinking that, I'm liking that idea. That might be a good, good idea to go there and just see just even if i don't know exactly where it is stoke orchard is not that big you literally you'll drive past it if you sneeze or something you drive past it it's just a little tiny little village not really a lot there community center now never used to be it's a new community center uh, a few houses like i say you drive through it i don't even think they've got a shop there i think they've got a garage there's a garage there that sells cars. Um, but as far as other businesses, I don't think there's a lot there. I don't think there's a lot there. And certainly when Fred was there, there wouldn't have been a lot there at all. Because a lot of it now is new build. And then there's just a few scattered sort of houses which have been there for a while. I know the area quite well. So yeah, we'll go up there and we'll see. We will see.